My name is Mark Sylvan, I'm a composer and sound designer and my credits include um, The Million Pound Drop on Channel 4 with Davina McCall, Pointless on BBC One with Alexander Armstrong and Total Wipeout with um, The Big Red Balls on BBC One. When I first got into music, I mean, when I was about nine years old, I remember my dad gave me a xylophone and I used to, I just loved the sound it made. I loved the little colours on the, um, on the keys, or the, the xylophone tubes. I have this thing called synesthesia, where I see a colour, I think of a sound. So I used to play on this, my dad noticed it, and he got me a Roland MT32 sound card with a controller keyboard, and I just wrote feverishly ever since. So my musical heroes, I like anything to do with a synthesizer or a guitar at the same time. And bands like New Order, um, and the Smiths appealed to me, although they are mainly guitars. Um, the lyrics, words, I, I, I tend to like eclectic music. Anything which has a jamboree of sounds, which you know, are in inspiring. Well, the, the, the thing that led up to my first break, I used to just write lots of different music, and I used to have little um, mini discs full of music, which I'd try and sell to my friends at school. But I thought, as a job, being a musician was a bit fanciful. So I really um, trained to be a journalist. And in that capacity, I got work experience at the BBC. I sat in East Tower at the BBC, um, you know, doing journalistic things. But just across the way was a graphic designer. Great guy, really ingenious stuff he was doing, like squirting ink into water and creating weird kind of effects. And one day, he wasn't very happy with music that was being used on a fashion show he was developing. And I happened to have a mini disc on me of the music I'd been writing. So I went across and said, look, what about track four? And he took it and used it and that was my first commission. Colour is very important for me when I'm seeing, uh, working to title sequences especially, because you can just tell the kind of instruments that are required. You see silver, I mean, of course, metallic sounds, you might, you know, in a more sound design sense. When I see red, I think of strings, orchestral strings. And for some reason, when you write to it, it sticks to the image. And that's what's so exciting, working to picture, because at the moment it comes alive, and the sounds feel like they're actually being made by the images you're seeing on screen. So that's why I've gravitated towards working to picture so much. For example, the million pound drop trapdoors, because um, literally they're hydraulic in real life. You go, there's like a, a puff of air, which doesn't feel very trapdoor-ish. So you're looking at it thinking, what would it sound like? And at the time I was having some building work done and there's lots of spades and shovels out the back. So I went out with a microphone and started whacking them and scraping them and getting this whole library of wax and scrapes then you'd sit down and start fusing it together into one sound, you know, EQing it, compressing it, until all these separate shovel wax became one. I got involved with Vasca when I was 21, back in uh, about 2003, 2002. I was a, a young composer starting out. I, I thought I'd better join an organisation, so I feel like I'm part of the industry and Vasca was there. And I'm very glad I did, because um, I immediately started going to seminars, seeing composers who've made their names, talking about their work, which was incredibly inspiring. Also, I got a sense of the business side of the industry, you know, contracts, royalties, publishing splits, all this kind of stuff, which was alien to me. And you realize hanging around this kind of stuff gives you a tremendous sense of confidence because it's, it's other people's experience works down to you. And of course, there are other advantages like, you know, legal advice, insurance, um, tax advice, all this kind of stuff, which is incredibly helpful once you start, you know, your career is off and away. One of the very exciting things about Basca is the Ivan Novella Awards, which um, I've been lucky enough to go to for quite a few years now, and it's a fantastic day because it's a real celebration of music, but the people you get there, phenomenal, gold-plated celebrities, you know, and you're amongst them, there's a really good feeling in the room. Everyone's very positive about music and the creative process, and it focuses on the art of writing music. Um, and it's a, it's a wonderful sense of community. Also, you've got the Gold Badge Awards, the um, British Composer Awards, these kind of things, all fantastic to go to. I suppose fundamentally, you've got to do it your own way. Everyone has their own way of doing things, and you've just got to do it with great confidence. You've got to be very persistent. You've got to go out and create opportunities. I think someone used a metaphor to me, throw as many balls up in the air as you can, and hopefully a few get caught. A lot will come crashing down again. And be prepared for setbacks, because it is a competitive and at times very distressing industry when you're not getting the phone calls and stuff but just work hard, love music and you've got to love music to do it because if you don't love music I think um, the other sides of it can overwhelm you but if you just believe in your music, write it and meet people hopefully opportunities will come which will drive you forward. <laughs>